no flexion extension. We've seen it. So if I want to counter nutate or nutate, so counter nutation is probably the most common restriction in the sacrum, L4-5. I can't get them to flex open. If I want to counter nutate, I take my forearm, I lay it on the sacrum. I roll them towards me and I drop with a little slap towards my chest, my rib cage. Okay. This is counter nutation. Here, a little slap. If I want to kick this, which is really easy to do, then I do the same thing. I put my forearm right along the sacrum. So this is my sacrum. I put my forearm right along the sacrum, right down the crease of the pants. I distract or adduct my leg toward me. I kick and I slap. Very nice adjustment. It's very patient friendly. Most people need it. So I'm taking everything into flexion. So I flex, I flex 90 degrees. I'm stable against the table. I lay my forearm right down the crease of the pants. I adduct. Slap. That move? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nutation is just an SI joint drop between the PSISs. Here's my PSISs, here's my contact, roll, fall. If I want to do a kick push, kick, push. That would be nutation. So I extend the bottom leg, get extension there. He does not need this, so I'm not going to do it. Roll, round. Load, fall, or I can go stable against the table. Here, knee in the back pocket, kick and push. Counter notation is the one that most people need. So I'm along the line of the pants. I adduct, kick and pull, a little slap. Cool. So I just showed you three very different adjustments there, um, <laughs> but I want to get them in um, just so you see them. You can practice them in club. Give it a shot and then 